Hey guys, welcome back. So today in this video, I'm showing you guys how to install Radare 2, the debugger, on iOS. So if you are a beginner iOS security researcher or just someone who is interested in reverse engineering iOS applications or ARM binaries, then this video will show you how to install a really great debugging utility that you can use straight from your iOS device through mobile terminal. Or if you want, you can SSH into your device and do it from your computer. But this is accessible for everyone. You do not need a computer for this. It's, this can be done completely from your jailbroken device. So this will support all versions of iOS all the way up until the latest iOS 10.2 as long as you are of course jailbroken. So here I've got my iPhone 6 and I'm on iOS 10.2. Now if you're on a 32-bit device that is a, an iPhone 5C or lower, then you actually can do this very very easily. All you need to do is go inside of Cydia, go to sources and add this repo right here. I'll have a link in the description. It's cydia.radar.org and inside of here you will find a pre-compiled version of Radar it or Radar for 32-bit um, devices. So let's scroll towards the bottom. You can see we have Radar 2-ARM32. All you need to do is install this if you're on a 32-bit device and you'll have Radar it installed uh, and you'll be ready to go. However, for 64-bit devices, this version here is meant to work, the one that just says Radar 2, but it doesn't on iOS 10. So if you're on iOS 10, like I am right now, you're going to need to use this alternate method of installation. So to do that, we're going to go inside of Mobile Safari. You want to go to your My GitHub page right here. I'll leave a link to this in the description as well. Then you want to scroll down to the top repository on the popular repositories, the Exploit Challenges one. Tap on that and then go into View Code. And in, inside of here, as well as all of the uh, vulnerable programs I've been developing over the last couple months, you will see right at the bottom, over an hour ago now I uploaded this, Radar 2 iOS ARM 64.zip. So this is the pre-compiled or cross-compiled version of Radar for iOS that I compiled myself for you guys. So click on this, click on desktop version, and then scroll over to the side and you'll see this download button. Just hit that. And once this page is loaded up, you should have an open in iFile option. So make sure obviously you do have iFile installed. This also works with Filza file manager, so you can use that as well if you want but I've got iPhone installed on my device, so let's wait for this page to load up. All right, and you can see here we have open in iFile, just tap that, and it will open this zip file inside of iFile. So just click on Archiver, and wait for it to extract the contents. There's quite a few things in here, so it could take a little while, but once it's done, you should see a blue done button at the top. You can see right now it's grayed out because the process is still going. All right, so hit that blue done button and scroll up and you should see a new folder named Radar 2 iOS R64. So go inside of here and you should see three additional folders. So all you need to do is go inside of the bin folder and select every file that's in here. These are all the executables that allow Radar to work. Copy link and then you want to paste them in slash bin. So go to the very root directory, the slash, go inside of bin and paste them in here. Make sure you don't modify anything else that's already in here because these are all the vital system commands. So obviously you'll have uh, many issues if you actually delete any of these. But just paste them all in there and just check they are there. You can see they're all here. And then you can go inside of mobile terminal. Now you want to sign in as root, so su, and the default password is alpine. And we want to go to that directory, cd slash bin. And you can ls just to check everything is there. You can see them all right there. Now what you'll notice first of all is if you try and run the radar2 command right now, so we type radar2, you see we get killed 9 because the binary is not actually been signed with ldid. So we need to sign every binary. It's actually not real signing, it's kind of fake signing, but we need to sign every binary, binary using LDID. So we're going to type LDID space uh, dash S, make sure that is a capital S, otherwise you'll get an issue. And then type the name of the binary, so radar2. And as long as it doesn't give you any kind of message or error here, then it works successfully. So it should, should just return back to the prompt. Now, if you want to use uh, radar2 its full capabilities, you're going to need to sign every single binary that we pasted in here. But for demonstration purposes for this video, all we need to sign is Radar2. But obviously, if you're doing this on your own device, then make sure you sign all of the other 8 or 9 binaries as well. So we can just clear this terminal now, and we're going to quickly test it. So let's go back to VAR Mobile, where I actually have an example program. So if you don't already know what Radar is, it's a, it's a tool just like Hopper or Ida Pro that will allow you to disassemble uh, binaries, applications, to produce the assembly output for them. It will allow you to analyze each function and even patch the functions do a lot of cool stuff that could lead to very cool things. So inside of here, I've got ROP level three, which is a binary that I made for uh, training purposes of export development. So we can actually run it outside of radar just to check what it does. Uh, 
And you can see this has got a little menu system where you type the number for a function and one of the functions is actually disabled and the idea of the, uh, the application is to be able to patch it using um, an exploit to allow you to access that function. But we're not really going to talk about that in this video. I have another video covering that if you want to learn how to do that. But what we need to do is test out that Radar2 or Radar2 does work with this binary. So we type Radar2 space, then the name of the binary, which is ROP level 3. Also, if you actually want to download ROP level 3 and do this yourself, you can also get it from this GitHub page. It's right here, as well as the other ROP levels. So I'll just go back on the GitHub page and download that. But then we want to hit enter, and you can see we get inside the Radar prompt with a little orange um, address. So you can type AAA to automatically analyze everything and then type AFL to print the functions inside of this binary. So you can see all the functions here as well as their addresses and you can seek to a different function by typing S space followed by the name. So sim dot main and then PDF for print disassembly of the function and you'll get the assembly code output just as you'd see in something like IDA or Hopper. So obviously it's in the form of a command line, it's a little bit harder to read maybe for some people, but this is a very efficient way of doing reverse engineering straight from your iOS device. So I won't really be covering any uh, advanced functions of Hopper, this video is just literally to show you guys how to set it up. If you want to know how to use Hopper or more about it, then check out my other videos in the iOS Hacking Security Research playlist on this channel, as well as the videos on my second channel, which will cover this more in depth. And if you have any requests for any other uh, videos related to Hopper or any kind of reverse engineering on the device itself, then leave a comment and I will consider making more videos. So that is pretty much it for this video. I will leave the link to my GitHub page in the description so you guys can go ahead and download this. Once again, this should be compatible with all devices running any iOS version all the way up until iOS 10.2. So that is pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you next time.